everybody, Rebecca here from Learn Flute Online, and I just thought you might enjoy seeing where I am in my teaching loft today, bringing module number two to you. These are my beautiful Utah mountains, and that's how we say it here, mountain instead of mountain. <laughs> it's winter, and it's gorgeous. Today we're talking about tone in this module number two. We'll be discovering three different things today within this video, and I hope you're ready. First thing I'm going to have you do is take a big breath, and we're going to blow, and we're going to see if we can blow for a long time. See if you can beat me. Are you still blowing, or did you run out? Okay, great. I think you get the idea. Today we're going to be talking about long tone and we're going to be using your head joint. So please get it now. We're ready to start. We're going to take a big breath and we're going to do our flute spit just like we practiced and we learned with our tongue sealing off the hole. Just like that. But we're going to see how long we can make our tone last. So I'm going to demonstrate and then you can do it with me. practiced for a lot of years and I could probably go a lot longer than that but I think that's a good place to start. Now one thing that I should mention is that when you're first beginning it's a smart idea to put your flute on your special spot before you get started breathing. So if you can place it where it's supposed to go and then breathe you might have a better time. Pause the video now and try it. Okay, so I hope you had fun blowing long tones. I'd like you to think about how long you've blown for today, and we're going to shoot for our blowing a little bit longer each week for the next, well, probably forever, to see if we can up that count. So if today you were able to hold your long tone, for five counts, then hopefully next week you can hold for at least six or maybe even ten. Okay, are you ready to have some fun with your head joint? I hope so because we get to play, well, we get to play a little song now. What we're going to do is we're going to use our head joint and we're going to put our finger in the end. Watch this. In and then out. And yeah, it's if you've been playing for a while, it's a little warm and wet in there. Sorry, hopefully that's not too gross to you. But I want you to see what happens when I'm blowing and putting my finger in and out at the same time. Okay? See that? We can do all sorts of fun things. But I think it would be fun if you get your head joint now and practice your long tones, your long blowing like we talked about just a minute ago and now you get to put your finger in and out and see what kinds of things you can do. I don't know, we can make up anything we want. you had a lot of fun with that and we're going to move on now. We are going to talk about how to do the proper kind of spitting to make a high note because immediately right now and today you are going to learn to play high notes as well as the low notes that we've already talked about. So do you remember your little piece of paper that we used in the last module to make a good tone? We take the little piece of paper and fold it up and put it in your hand. Well, today we're going to change that just a little. We're still going to use paper on our hand, but I'd like you to remember two things today. We're going to keep our head straight as usual. We should have had it straight the last time as well. If you feel like you're having a problem dipping your nose down as you play, I'd like you to think about that right now and make sure that you keep your face up nice and straight, okay? 
Now we're going to take our hand and our piece of paper and we're actually going to move it down lower than we had done before. So before we were about right here, now we're going to be down here. And I'm only going to let my eyes look at my paper. Can you see that? I don't even move my nose, my, my face just stays right where it is. I'll look at my paper, but now I'm going to blow all the way down there and I'm going to blow harder and a faster, harder spit. <laughs> hey, that went way past my camera. That's nice. So what we're going to do, again, is take our paper, fold it up, put it in your hand, and keep your face and your head very straight. Lower it down, make sure that the paper is in front of you, and this time only glance at it and then put your eyes back up again, and let's blow. I call them rocket spits. So I want you to really spit hard. Make sure you seal the hole off with your tongue, and then shoot it like this. <sighs> Woo! That was fun. Can you stop the camera and practice that now? Okay, now we're ready to move on. We're going to use the same paper exercise, but this time we're going to blow longer blows. Blow longer blows. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Bring it up. Make sure my head is straight. Pull it down. You can even move it out just a little if you need to. And... <sighs> ah! I went really far that time. That's your new exercise. Stop the video right now and work on that for a little while. Nice long rocket spits. Go ahead. Okay, now we're going to use your head joint again. I would like you to hold the short end with your left hand and I'd like you to hold it pretty tight. Okay, you figure out which way is the most comfortable. Okay, then with your right hand we're actually going to cover the end. The part that's open, okay? We're going to cover it. We're going to cover it pretty, pretty hard. You could even cover it so hard that you make a circle on your hand. But you don't really need to push it that hard, but we do need to seal off any air. Can you hear that? You have to make sure it's good and sealed. Now put the flute on your sweet spot, and we'll just blow a regular nice soft blow like we learned first. So we have a new tone now in contrast to this one with it uncovered. Low. Now, I know the next one sounded high, but that's actually just our normal one from before. But now what we're going to do is we're going to use our rocket spit that's aimed down more and farther out with a nice hard spit. With the flute sealed. Make sure my head is level. Put it on my nice special spot. Here I go. Did you need to plug your ears? That's pretty loud, isn't it? Let me show you the difference between the low one and the high one now. There we have it. Both long tones today. So we've just learned three different things today. The first thing was we learned how to blow a long tone versus the short one from before. And so on and so on. The second thing that we learned was how to take our paper, bring it down, out farther, and really rock its bit. A lot farther, okay? Now, I'd like you to remember to keep using that long tone today because that will really help you get your, your high tones out. The next thing we learned was how to hold on tight here, seal off the hole, and blow a high note versus a low. You should be able to do both of those before you move to tone in module three. Good luck. Rebecca here from Flirt, Flirt, Learn, I'm Fine. <laughs> that would be a good blooper. <laughs>